once in a lullaby somewhere over the rainbow skies are blue and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true Someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me. Where trouble melts like lemon drops high above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow bluebirds fly if bluebirds fly over the rainbow why then oh why can't i staggers and jags cranky internet guy and i want to talk to you today about the wizard of oz we've all seen the movie i hope I hope, I really hope you've seen the movie. It's a great flick. It really is. It's old. It's really old. But I'm not here to talk about how good it is. I'm here to dig a little bit deeper into the story. See, we've always heard about Glinda, the good witch, right? We've understood that, that she's the one that helped Dorothy to escape back to Kansas. But I put it to you that this isn't the case. In fact, in fact, I suggest to you that Glinda is actually the antagonist of the story. Now listen, it, it, she's, she's secretly the bad guy. Maybe antagonist isn't the right word because she's not the main point of conflict with our protagonist, Dorothy. But, but just, just hear me out. I think it's all a big misunderstanding or, or even a trick fuck, if you will. Okay, we all know how the story goes, right? We all know how the story goes. Dorothy's house is flying through the air and just so happens to land on the Wicked Witch of the East, right? Just so happens to land right on her. I mean, you couldn't aim your house, right? You couldn't cause your house to land in a specific spot. Gosh, you'd have to have some kind of magical powers to make something like that happen, wouldn't you? So, there she is. Dorothy smashes the Wicked Witch of the East, comes out of the house, and the Wicked Witch shows up. The Wicked Witch of the West, Wicked Witch of the West, so-called by Glinda, right, who is the self-proclaimed good witch in this situation. The Wicked Witch of the West shows up to get what is rightfully hers, right? Those shoes belong to the Wicked Witch of the West. They belong to the Wicked Witch of the East, who is her sister. She died. The The next living, in you know, your next living relative gets all your stuff. If the Wicked Witch of the East didn't have any kids, those shoes belong to the Wicked Witch of the West, rightfully and legally. Well, in comes Glinda. It is Glinda, by the way, not Glenda. In comes Glinda in her magic mushroom bubble, just aloof as can be with her little wand... Oh, hello, I'm Glinda the Cold Witch. And she pulls a magic trick fuck move. Goes, look over here, look over there. The camera pans back and forth, shows the witch, shows Dorothy, shows the witch, shows the shoes, shows Dorothy's feet. Boom, the shoes are on Dorothy. Glinda goes, okay, she's going to try to kill you. Have fun, good luck, bye. Boom, and leaves in her bubble, right? Now what the fuck's Dorothy supposed to do? Now Dorothy is subjected to the next days, weeks, I don't know, however long she was there, meeting all these crazy people, almost dying, getting through all of this, finally killing the the wicked witch. And, 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 and at the end of it all, Glinda comes and tells Dorothy, you had the power to go home all along. The power was with you, all along, all you had to do was click your heels together and say, there's no place like home, there's no place like home, there's no place like... Bitch, 
Why didn't you say that in the first place? Why didn't you tell her that to begin with? Unless this was all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan. After Dorothy kills the Wicked Witch of the West, who's the most powerful being left in Oz? Who? I mean, even Oz himself leaves, right? Leaving the Good Witch, Glinda, as the most powerful being in all of Oz. And, and we can only assume that she kept the shoes. Right? I mean, I can't... There's this this makes sense to me. There's no there's no convincing me otherwise. I mean, put down in the comments if you if you picked up on something that I'm missing here that proves me wrong that Glinda isn't the actual bad guy and doing all of this to manipulate Dorothy into killing her enemies for her and making her the most powerful wizard in Oz. Witch. Wizard witch. I don't know. Whatever the hell she wants to call herself. She's flying around in that bubble. What did the Wicked Witch do wrong? What did the Wicked Witch of the West do? She showed up to get her shoes. She was mad. Right? She, she thought she just stumbled upon a murder. She accuses Dorothy of being a witch because, like I said earlier, only a witch could probably cause the house to land exactly where it did. Just so conveniently... Squishing the Wicked Witch of the East, but not the shoes. The shoes were kept safe. Those ruby fucking slippers are what this is all about. That's the centerpiece. That's the fucking ring. That's the goddamn piece of it all that makes it all come together. That's what Glinda wants. And she knew Dorothy didn't know how to use them. But she knew that if she put them on Dorothy, that the Wicked Witch of the West wouldn't be able to take them from her. Until the end, when she tells Dorothy to click them together and, and finally leave Oz. And then it's all over. Both the wicked witches are dead. And the good witch, Glinda, is left to rule the kingdom. I mean, that's it. That's There's nothing else to it. Don't know what else to say. I think I've proved my point. Glinda is the bad guy. At the very least, at the very least, she was an opportunist. And she took advantage of a situation in order to, you know, make herself more powerful. That's the best I can give her. But I, I really think that she set the whole thing up. I'm saying Glinda made the house land on the motherfucking witch. I'm saying Glinda caused the tornado in Kansas. Why not? And put the vision of the Wicked Witch in the in the tornado to, to implant that idea into Dorothy's head. Her dog almost died. Her dog almost died. Toto almost got killed and left behind. All this shit Dorothy's been through. All that almost dying. Her friends almost died. She almost died. Her dog almost died. Everybody's gonna die. And Glinda's just floating around in her bubble like, Oh, ooh, ha, ha, la, 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 la. Well, that's it. That's what I have to say about Glinda the Good Witch and the Wizard of Oz. And if you agree with me, then you're right. And if you disagree with me, then you're wrong. And you can leave a comment down below telling me what you think, if I've enlightened you, if I've opened your eyes. Or you can tell me how stupid it is. Or just hit like button, hit the like button down there. Just hit it and then share the video. Subscribe to my channel. Watch all my other videos. Watch all my videos and... And share my videos out with the world. Let the people know. We've got to raise awareness. We've got to get the message out. Seriously, though, thanks for joining me. You know the drill. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, share the video. And I have a Patreon. 
if you want to give me your money. It would be really cool if you did. I could use it. Times are hard. I'll probably do a couple more videos like this in the future. Ne next one I'll do might be Gandalf. We'll talk about how Gandalf is the bad guy. Um, yeah. I don't know how to end the video. Isn't that always the thing? Oh yeah, I, was wa I walk away. That's what I do. That's my new thing. I walk away. I grab my shit and I walk away. <laughs>